Hello, everybody. Good evening. We're back. Yes. And we have something special that we want to share with everybody. This is probably the single most rarest Jehovah Witness book on the planet Earth. In fact, it's so rare that it doesn't even bear the corporation's signature, the Watchtower Bible Tract Society, because this is a book that was produced by Jehovah's Witnesses, but not the Watchtower Bible Tract Society. Yeah. Let us explain. <laughs> yeah, we'll explain everything. Um, I have just spent the past four days scanning this book. Yeah. 600 and something pages. That was a chore. My hand hurt so bad from holding the book down that I can't even make a fist. Good. That means you can't slap me around tonight. <laughs> oh, I can still use my left hand. Well, before we get into what's in the book, why don't we just read who it okay. came from and the letter that come with this because it it's pretty interesting. Yeah, so I want to thank Scott. He is the one that sent us the, this book at his own expense. Thank you, Scott, so much. Yes, thank you. And also for sending the letter with it because um, there has been a few ex-Jehovah Witnesses who have heard of this book. But as far as we know, no one has the PDF for it. And so that's why I went ahead and scanned it. And nobody knew where it had come from or any history on it. So that's why this letter is so good. And before anybody asks, there is no copyright on this book. Yeah, because it's just scans from all over the place. Dear Brothers, Many inquiries have been received regarding the availability of the compilation Jehovah's Witnesses Alternatives to Blood Transfusion in Minors. This volume was prepared locally for the use of area doctors willing to cooperate with witnesses providing medical care without the use of blood transfusion. Results have been extremely favorable. Because of the many requests for copies from other areas and the continuing Local demand, we have printed a good supply of a new edition titled Jehovah's Witnesses Alternatives to Blood Transfusion. And it has a date on it of November 1973. It has a few more articles and deals with minors and adults. If you feel they can be used beneficially in your area, you may wish to obtain some copies. Please note that these books are primarily intended for the use of doctors because most of the articles are from medical texts using medical terminology. And there is quite a few of very technical medical, you know, articles. If an elder feels he could make use of the publication, we do not mind if he keeps a personal copy. For example, it could come in handy when visiting a hospital administrator to deliver a copy for the hospital library. And that's what I picture this book being yeah. used for is, you know, an elder with the hospital liaison marching into a hospital with this under his arm. Right. That's what I picture also. Yeah. Um, during the discussion, the elder would have his own volume to refer to when explaining some of the features. However, it should be stressed that this publication is not intended for in indiscriminate circulation or uncontrolled usage. You mean like dropping into the hands of apostates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't going to happen now. No, not anymore. Yeah. Thus, we request that it is not to be kept in the Kingdom Hall Library. If a publisher desires the publication for a few days, the elder could make his copy available if he felt it would be beneficial. Misuse should be avoided. Oh, we're not going to misuse it. We're just going to use it. <laughs> okay. In yeah. one instance, after being approached too frequently by a well-meaning sister armed with a handful of medical articles, a local surgeon's disposition was converted from friendly to hostile. However, in the great majority of cases, if a doctor is handled discreetly, results will be good. Wow. If there are any doctors in your area who have been friendly, it may be desirable to give each one a copy of this book. Hospital administrators will usually accept copies for the hospital library. In such cases, it is essential that we do not ask for a contribution for the book. To obtain copies, please use the enclosed book request forms using one for each book required. These volumes were prepared privately 
and have been designed to assist our brothers and sisters in seeking medical help compatible with their Bible trained consciences. The Canadian branch office is aware of this book and has not discouraged its publication. We would certainly appreciate hearing any favorable experiences you have in using this compilation. Please accept our warm regards. Your brother, Alex Trost, T-R-O-S-T. Now, I had someone who knew I had this book email me and said that they had heard he was a chemist. So, apparently, I don't know if he's the one that put this book together or not. But like I said, um, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here, and it's quite thick, and it's quite heavy. Um, on page 17 is an interesting article written by Jack Kevorkian. <laughs> you know, yeah. Dr. Death himself. <laughs> yeah, that doctor. Um, you know, I'm not going to judge him one way or the other, but really, Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, did you really want him, seeking, you know, to be promoting you and, you know, looking favorable? Seeking medical advice from Dr. Kevorkian? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's righteous. <laughs> yeah. What's interesting about this book is that it appears that everything that the Washington Bible Tract Society has ever written regarding the use of blood, blood fractions, the booklet that they produced in 1961... One. It's also in this volume. Um, things like that. So this is pretty much just what yeah. is in this book is everything that Watchtower has written regarding the blood. And if somebody was really to scrutinize it really close, um, you'll see that it actually contradicts itself. You can Be see the flip-flopping in it. You can see the flip-flopping of their uh, their belief system regarding blood and Ex blood fractions. Exactly. And like Me Mike mentioned, it, it's not just medical reports from like the American Medical Journal, you know, or stuff from all over the world. It's newspaper articles, anything to do with Jehovah's Witnesses. And like Mike mentioned, you know, quotes, it's in here. You know, Question articles. from readers, yeah. Watchtower articles. Well, I was going to mention, here on page 529, questions from readers, um, there's several of these. Well, when you go over to page 530, this was an interesting one. It's the last one in the right-hand column at the bottom. Then, are we to conclude that Jehovah's Witnesses oppose the people's use of transfusions? That would be a wrong conclusion. Jehovah's Witnesses do not oppose the people's use of transfusions, but allow each one the right to decide for himself. Since when? What he can conscientiously do. Since when? Since uh, July 1st, 1951, Watchtower. Oh, that's old light. Yeah. But there's several articles in here, and, you know, what's really weird is they have all these articles about blood and all this, and then all of a sudden there's an article about hypnotism? What does that have to do with blood? You know, I'm just wondering. It's like, what the heck does hypnotism... Yeah, a dangerous two-edged sword. What does that have to do with blood transfusion and medical... I don't know. I don't know. It's spooky. Yeah. Real spooky that somebody would take the time to put all this together like this. Yeah. And then keep it out of the hands of, I don't know, say, John Q. Public or, you know, yeah. the rank and file unless you ask for it. Well, hell, until this book come into my home, I didn't even know that this book existed. So yeah, cool. I've never heard anybody talk about it. Never heard anybody, uh, any of the brothers that are on the hospital liaison committee even mention yeah. This book, so it's it's as far as I'm concerned, it's been kept a pretty good secret. <laughs> and the thing is, is when I first um, heard I was getting this book, I emailed our friend Atlantis. I mean, if anybody knew yeah. a book had existed, it would be him. And he said he had never even heard of that. And so, you know, once I got it and started scanning it, then he um, had heard that there are others who have heard of this and uh, there might be a couple of more um, versions in existence so but anyway um, but I just want to state that this book is not published by the Watchtower Bible Tract Society it appears this was done by a Jehovah Witness on his 
own little great idea and he gathered everything he could find about blood and blood transfusions and newspaper Stories. articles, um, experiences, yeah. watchtower quotes, and uh, a few testimonies. And there's even a letter in here, um, page 581, from, looks like the Canadian lawyer legal department. And um, so there's cool. quite a bit of stuff in here and, I mean, a lot of information. I can tell you right now, I'm not reading that book. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> That's a thick one. So anyway, um, here's the PDF. I'm putting the link for it down below. Um, I'm also going to post it on Facebook and I'm also going to be putting this on our website. Please share it with everybody. Like Mike mentioned, there is no copyright because it is just, you know, someone gathered all this stuff together. And uh, <coughs> there is no copyright on the inside. And so thanks again, Scott, you know, for Thank sending you. it to us. And uh, I think I'm going to go soak my hand in some ice sure? water. <laughs> so enjoy, guys. Share this with everybody. And we hope you have a wonderful evening. Love to all. Bye. Bye.